In linear algebra, the rank of a matrix A is the size of the largest collection of linearly independent columns of A or the size of the largest collection of linearly independent rows of A. For every matrix, the column rank is equal to the row rank. It is a measure of the non-degenerateness of the system of linear equations and linear transformation encoded by A. There are multiple definitions of rank. The rank is one of the fundamental pieces of data associated with a matrix. The rank is commonly denoted rank, A, or a K, A. Sometimes the parentheses are unwritten, as in rank A. Main definitions, in this section we give three definitions of the rank of a matrix. Many other definitions are possible. See below for a list of several of these. The column rank of a matrix A is the maximum number of linearly independent column vectors of A. The row rank of A is the maximum number of linearly independent row vectors of A. Equivalently, the column rank of A is the dimension of the column space of A, while the row rank of A is the dimension of the row space of A. A result of fundamental importance in linear algebra is that the column rank and the row rank are always equal. This number is simply called the rank of A. The rank is also the dimension of the image of the linear transformation that is given by multiplication by A. More generally, if a linear operator on a vector space has finite dimensional image, then the rank of the operator is defined as the dimension of the image. Examples, the matrix has rank 2, the first two rows are linearly independent, so the rank is at least 2, but all three rows are linearly dependent so the rank must be less than 3. The matrix has rank 1, there are non-zero columns, so the rank is positive, but any pair of columns is linearly dependent. Similarly, the transpose of A has rank 1. Indeed, since the column vectors of A are the row vectors of the transpose of A, the statement that the column rank of a matrix equals its row rank is equivalent to the statement that the rank of a matrix is equal to the rank of its transpose, that is, RK, A, equals RK, AT. Computing the rank of a matrix rank from row echelon forms. A common approach to finding the rank of a matrix is to reduce it to a simpler form, generally row echelon form, by elementary row operations. Row operations do not change the row space, and, being invertible, map the column space to an isomorphic space. Once in row echelon form, the rank is clearly the same for both row rank and column rank, and equals the number of pivots and also the number of non-zero rows. For example, the matrix A given by can be put in reduced row echelon form by using the following elementary row operations. The final matrix has two non-zero rows and thus the rank of matrix A is 2. Computation, when applied to floating point computations on computers, basic Gaussian elimination can be unreliable, and a rank revealing decomposition should be used instead. An effective alternative is the singular value decomposition, but there are other less expensive choices, such as QR decomposition with pivoting, which are still more numerically robust than Gaussian elimination. Numerical determination of rank requires a criterion for deciding when a value, such as a singular value from the SVD, should be treated as zero, a practical choice which depends on both the matrix and the application. Proofs that column rank equals row rank the fact that the column and row ranks of any matrix are equal forms an important part of the fundamental theorem of linear algebra. We present two proofs of this result. The first is short, uses only basic properties of linear combinations of vectors, and is valid over any field. The proof is based upon Ward law. The second is an elegant argument using orthogonality and is valid for matrices over the real numbers. It is based upon Mackey. First proof, let A be a matrix of size M A, N. Let the column rank of A be on let C1. CR be any basis for the column space of A place these is the columns of an M A, our matrix E. Every column of A can be expressed as a linear combination of the R columns in C. This means that there is an array, N matrix or such that A equals CR is the matrix whose ith column is formed from the coefficients giving the ith column of A as a linear combination of the A columns of C. Now, each row of A is given by a linear combination of the R rows of A therefore, the rows of R form a spanning set of the row space of A and, hence, 
the row rank of A cannot exceed R. This proves that the row rank of A is less than or equal to the column rank of A. This result can be applied to any matrix, so aptly the result to the transpose of A. Since the row rank of the transpose of A is the column rank of A and the column rank of the transpose of A is the row rank of A, this establishes the reverse inequality and we obtain the equality of the row rank and the column rank of A. Second proof, let A be in mar A, A n matrix with entries in the real numbers whose row rank is R. Therefore, the dimension of the row space of A is R. Let be a basis of the row space of A. We claim that the vectors are linearly independent. To see why, consider a linear homogeneous relation involving these vectors with scalar coefficients. Where? We make two observations, V is a linear combination of vectors in the row space of A, which implies that V belongs to the row space of A, and since all V equals A0, the vector V is orthogonal to every row vector of A and, hence, is orthogonal to every vector in the row space of A. The facts in together imply that V is orthogonal to itself, which proves that V equals zero or, by the definition of V. But recall that the were chosen as a basis of the row space of A and so are linearly independent. This implies that. It follows that are linearly independent. Now, each is obviously a vector in the column space of A so, is a set of our linearly independent vectors in the column space of A and, hence, the dimension of the column space of A must be at least as big as R. This proves that row rank of A is no larger than the column rank of A. Now apply this result to the transpose of A to get the reverse inequality and conclude as in the previous proof. Alternative definitions, in all the definitions in this section, the matrix A is taken to be an MA, N matrix over an arbitrary field F, dimension of image, given the matrix A, there is an associated linear mapping, far Fn and Fm, defined by, F, X, equals X. The rank of A is the dimension of the image of F. This definition has the advantage that it can be applied to any linear map without need for a specific matrix. Rank in terms of nullity, given the same linear mapping F as above, the rank is N minus the dimension of the kernel of F. The rank a Euro nullity theorem states that this definition is equivalent to the preceding one, column rank a Euro dimension of column space, the rank of A is the maximal number of linearly independent columns of A. This is the dimension of the column space of A, row rank a Euro dimension of row space, the rank of A is the maximal number of linearly independent rows of A. This is the dimension of the row space of A, decomposition rank. The rank of A is the smallest integer k such that A can be factored as, where C is an MA, K matrix and R is A K A, N matrix. In fact, for all integers k, the following are equivalent, the column rank of A is less than or equal to k, there exist k columns of size M such that every column of A is a linear combination of, there exist a matrix C and a matrix R such that, there exist k rows of size n such that every row of A is a linear combination of, the row rank of A is less than or equal to k. Indeed, the following equivalences are obvious. For example, to prove from, take C to be the matrix whose columns are from. To prove from, take to be the columns of C. It follows from the equivalence that the row rank is equal to the column rank. As in the case of the dimension of image characterization, this can be generalized to a definition of the rank of any linear map. The rank of a linear map far v a w is the minimal dimension k of an intermediate space x such that f can be written as the composition of a map v a x and a map x a w. Unfortunately, this definition does not suggest an efficient manner to compute the rank. See rank factorization for details. Determinantal rank a euro size of largest non-vanishing minor. The rank of A is the largest order of any non-zero minor in A. Like the decomposition rank characterization, this does not give an efficient way of computing the rank, but it is useful theoretically, a single non-zero minor witnesses a lower bound for the rank of the matrix, which can be useful to prove that certain operations do not lower the rank of a matrix. A non-vanishing P minor shows that the rows and columns of that submatrix are linearly independent, and thus those rows and columns of the full matrix are linearly independent, so the row and column rank are at least as large as the determinantal rank. However, the converse is less straightforward. 
the equivalence of determinant or rank and column rank is a strengthening of the statement that if the span of n vectors has dimension p, then p of those vectors span the space, the equivalence implies that a subset of the rows and a subset of the columns simultaneously define an invertible submatrix, tensor rank a euro minimum number of simple tensors, the rank of A is the smallest number K such that A can be written as a sum of K rank 1 matrices, where a matrix is defined to have rank 1 if and only if it can be written as a non-zero product of a column vector C and a row vector R. This notion of rank is called tensor rank. It can be generalized in the separable model's interpretation of the singular value decomposition. Properties, we assume that A is an MA, N matrix, and we define the linear map F by F, X, equals X as above. The rank of an ma A, A N matrix is a non-negative integer and cannot be greater than either M or N. That is, R K, A, A per mil currency min, M, N. A matrix that has a rank as large as possible is said to have full rank. Otherwise, the matrix is rank deficient. Only a zero matrix has rank zero. F is injective if and only if A has rank N. F is surjective if and only if A has rank M. If A is a square matrix, then A is invertible if and only if A has rank N. If B is any N A, K matrix, then. If B is an N A, K matrix of rank N, then. If C is an L A, M matrix of rank M, then. The rank of A is equal to if and only if there exists an invertible M A, M matrix X and an invertible N A, N matrix Y such that. Where it denotes the R A, R identity matrix. Sylvester a Euro unregistered trademark S rank inequality, if A is an M A, N matrix and B is N A, K, then. This is a special case of the next inequality. The inequality due to Frobenius, if AB, ABC and BC are defined, then. Subadditivity, rank, A plus B, A per mil currency rank, A, plus rank, B, when A and B are of the same dimension. As a consequence, a rank K matrix can be written as the sum of K rank 1 matrices, but not fewer. The rank of a matrix plus the nullity of the matrix equals the number of columns of the matrix. If A is a matrix over the real numbers then the rank of A and the rank of its corresponding gram matrix are equal. Thus, for real matrices. This can be shown by proving equality of their null spaces. Null space of the gram matrix is given by vectors X for which. If this condition is fulfilled, also holds. If A is a matrix over the complex numbers and A denotes the conjugate transpose of A, then matrix representation by rank 1 matrices, one important result which can be helpful for analyzing the rank of a matrix more easily is that, any matrix can can be shown as a SUM of n rank 1 matrices where n equals number of rows in a matrix. Note, here we assume the matrix to be nxn that is, a square matrix. For example, the identity matrix A, this is a full rank matrix that is rank equals 3. Here, n equals 3 is the size of the matrix. However, this can also be represented as sum of 3 rank 1 matrices as follows. For example, the identity matrix A equals plus plus, here, we form 3 matrices by splitting the rows where the pivots exist and making the other rows zero thereby adding them up at the end. As seen above, we represent the identity matrix as the sum of rank 1 matrices. Applications One useful application of calculating the rank of a matrix is the computation of the number of solutions of a system of linear equations. According to the Ruscha v. Euro Capelli theorem, the system is inconsistent if the rank of the augmented matrix is greater than the rank of the coefficient matrix. If, on the other hand, the ranks of these two matrices are equal, then the system must have at least one solution. The solution is unique if and only if the rank equals the number of variables. Otherwise the general solution has k-free parameters where k is the difference between the number of variables and the rank. In this case the system of equations has infinitely many solutions. In control theory, the rank of a matrix can be used to determine whether a linear system is controllable, or observable. Generalization 
there are different generalizations of the concept of rank to matrices over arbitrary rings. In those generalizations, column rank, row rank, dimension of column space and dimension of row space of a matrix may be different from the others or may not exist. Thinking of matrices as tensors, the tensor rank generalizes to arbitrary tensors. Note that for tensors of order greater than 2, rank is very hard to compute, unlike for matrices. There is a notion of rank for smooth maps between smooth manifolds. It is equal to the linear rank of the derivative. Matrices as tensors, matrix rank should not be confused with tensor order, which is called tensor rank. Tensor order is the number of indices required to write a tensor, and thus matrices all have tensor order too. More precisely, matrices are tensors of type, having one row index and one column index, also called covariant order 1 and contravariant order 1. See tensor for details. Note that the tensor rank of a matrix can also mean the minimum number of simple tensors necessary to express the matrix as a linear combination, and that this definition does agree with matrix rank as here discussed. See also, matroid rank, non-negative rank, rank, multicollinearity, linear dependence, notes. References. Further reading, Roger A. Horn and Charles A. Johnson. Matrix Analysis. ISBN A 978-0-521-38632-6 Core, Auto K2 Chapters from the Book Introduction to Matrix Algebra, 1. Vectors, 1, and System of Equations, 2, Mike Brooks, Matrix Reference Manual, 3. 